plus n2 square plus n3 square is equal to 1. So, 3 direction cosines of the axis which means 2 parameters and 1 angle, 3 parameters otherwise 3 angles, this Euler angles. Now, a general matrix can be written as a j k j k matrix element of a given n cap and alpha in the axis angle notation can be written in the following fashion cos alpha into delta j k plus 1 minus cos alpha into n j n k minus sin alpha into epsilon j k l n l. Essentially what does this mean? It means this is a matrix like this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 that is this delta j k that is A the matrix of n comma alpha into cos alpha plus n 1 square n 1 n 2 n 1 n 3 n 2 n 1 n 2 square n 2 n 3 n 3 n 1 n 3 n 2 n 3 square into 1 minus cos alpha. Now, this epsilon j k l is a Levi Civita symbol is equal to plus 1 if this j k l are 1 2 3 are the cyclic combinations of this is minus 1 if this j k l are 2 1 3 are its cyclic combination these are even permutations and odd permutations. Okay. Now, you can see that this plus a matrix which has 0 minus n 3 n 2 n 3 0 minus n 1 minus n 2 n 1 0 into sin alpha. So, this is the matrix a general matrix in the axis angle description and you can also write a matrix in terms of psi theta phi in the Euler and angles. How do you write? This is a rotation matrix about E 3 axis by an angle psi, a rotation matrix about E 1 axis by an angle theta, a rotation matrix about E 3 axis by an angle phi. You first rotate about z axis then about the new x axis then new z axis. So, by writing rotation matrices about all this theta you multiply them you get the matrix corresponding to Euler and angles. Okay. So, you can write a description in terms of this or description in terms of this. What changes in this case? Your parameters are changing. So, the parameter space will change. You can also write this one as a angle vector which is equal to alpha times n 1, alpha times n 2, alpha times n 3 such that modulus of this angle vector is the angle itself. 
Okay, we can always write it like that. And then, in that case, what will happen? How do we uh, redefine this? This one we will refine this as alpha j alpha k. But I am having a magnitude here because alpha is sitting there, so I must divide this by alpha square. And here alpha l, but I must divide this by alpha. So, if you look at like this, these are like three angle variables. Here also we have three angle variables. Okay. So, you can see that your group manifold, you can say that you can map group manifold in this case to this case, because we have three angles and uh, it is like you have, you have a space where this alpha, alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3, where alpha 1 is this, alpha 2 is this and alpha 3 is this. Okay. So, in this you, you can have, so what is the range of variation of this alpha? Alpha, actually you can, you can see here that A of n cap comma alpha is same as a of minus n cap comma 2 pi minus alpha. Okay, it can be easy to see, you can easily see this. Because of this, if alpha goes from 0 to pi, that is enough. Then minus n will take care of the other pi to 2 pi. So, because of that, here you have your parameter space has got a sphere whose radius is pi. Okay. Now, every point on this, uh, every point on the sphere interior to the sphere are the parameter values which generate, uh, which uh, uh, give rise to these matrices. But if I have a point here, that is, if I have a point here, then exactly diametrically I will not have a different point. So, I must identify the diametrical points. So, if I identify this, if I identify this diametrically opposite points, then this sphere with diametrically opposite points identified is the group manifold of this SO 3. 